My name is Jordan. I'm a worship pastor at Oasis Church Chicago. No church sent us. We had hardly any money in the bank and uh, we had to make really budget conscious decisions. We actually prayed for a location in Chicago for about three years before we even stepped foot in the city. We wanted to plant ourselves right in the center of it all. From the beginning of Oasis, worship in my life has, has been huge. Um, and we knew from the start that it was going to be one of the pillars of our church. We planted in a coffee shop two years ago with about 20 people. And fast forward, and here we are today. We've gone to a handful of different places. And then now we're about 200 people. Still a church in a box, still setting up every single Sunday. We go into a blank canvas and we set up black pipe and drape. We set up all of our sound equipment. We unstack chairs. We have a lot of people that aren't on staff, aren't paid, uh, but just sewing into the church and sewing into the city. So the experience before having Loop Community Products was difficult. As you grow, you discover, oh, well, if I only had this, or I'm missing this. And so that's when I slowly started to dive into a little bit more of Loop Community. I've got a little time throughout the week. I'm a father, I'm a husband, I've got another job. And come crunch time when I'm trying to put my set list together and pull in my tracks, uh, the Prime app by Loop Community has made it amazing for me. It's made it really easy and convenient. One of the most difficult things about being a startup church definitely is the lack of, of volunteers. You know, we've, we've seen that even from a music perspective. You know, I started just myself on acoustic guitar and thankfully today we've grown. So we actually don't practice throughout the week. The only practice time we get is Sunday morning. It's only about an hour to an hour and a half before we actually have service. Not having a practice space, I was really just trying to kind of run practices via just texting people and saying, hey, are we all good on our parts? Are you comfortable playing this? We're gonna do this version. We're gonna do it this way. And that was before we were using tracks. I remember our first time we had like a full band. We didn't have any tracks. We didn't have the, the guide whispering in our ear. It was a little bit of a train wreck, not gonna lie. It was, it was hard. We use the Prime app every Sunday morning. For us, we use it to fill out our sound. You know, we don't, we don't have a whole lot of musicians and it helps a lot. You know, we have one electric guitar player, so we're able to use those electric guitar parts. For us, it's helping us a lot during practice even. Since we can't practice throughout the week, having the guide and the click in your ear giving you direction where to go helps us really get through the song. I mean, before we couldn't even get through a song without having to stop and say, okay, where are we? So now having the guide in there helps a lot for practices. We also use the Looptimus foot controller, and it's great. Coming from a background of not having it and using a, like the keyboard on a laptop with my hands, now having everything at my feet, it's, it's unbelievable. It helps a lot with the spontaneous moments in church. For me, it's been cool just to see people that have no background in worship and they walk in and then see this transformation over time. I find myself almost weeping um, after service to see somebody that walked in with their hands in their pockets five months ago to now like raising their hands and receiving worship. And you can just, you can see that there's an intimacy now between them and the Lord, not through music at church. In the busyness of a Sunday morning, I find it very easy to, to forget why we're here and what we're doing. Sometimes it seems like a, a list of chores. We've seen people walk in with addictions. We've seen people walk in that are homeless. Uh, we've seen people walk in um, with cancer. We've seen people walk in that have uh, other terminal illnesses. We've seen people walk in with marriages where they've sat on opposite sides of the room. We've seen people walk in with friendships that have been broken. And I couldn't tell you how many amazing resurrecting stories that we've heard of all those things. You know, it's been cool to see uh, some of the mountains and valleys that we've been through and see that the Lord has still been pouring out his blessings on our church. And Loop Community has been a huge part of that. To have an impactful service weekend after weekend, to be able to utilize the tools that they've given us as a church. I'm really thankful that Loop Community provides quality tracks at an affordable price. Helps us every Sunday morning, it's consistent quality. Our team's growing from it, we're able to learn from it, helps us become better as a team. Being a volunteer worship leader has its challenges, but Loop Community makes it a lot easier. 